Oh, okay. All right, guys. What's up? It's Luke, and today I'm pretty much just going to show you what I did today with the Bass Pro. And by the looks of this receipt, it's extremely long. I spent a lot of money. Three hundred and thirty-five dollars to be exact, and that's a crap ton of money that I probably shouldn't have spent. But I spent on a lot of good things for this season. So, um, I spent 20, I mean, I bought 27 items of each, bass fishing and catfishing. I did that on total action, I didn't even know until I counted them all out. But, uh, we're going to go ahead and show you all the bass fishing stuff that I bought first. First thing I bought was Strike King Triple Wing, uh, it's a tri-blade buzzbait. So, it's white, it's very nice. Love these, the white color, it works very well in the lakes that I fish in. Um, here's another one, but it's by Booyah, and it is a uh, double blade instead of a triple. And uh, it's very nice, it's white again, and I just love the smaller uh, buzzbait because of the fact that you can catch a quarter pound bass to a five to six pound bass, and even some small bluegills that they're stupid will hit on this. So, um, I mean, you can catch some very nice fish on this, even though it's really small. So... Next thing I'm going to show you is another striking, and it is a uh, dual blade instead of a triple. Um, it is sartreuse and white colored. Another small one for that exact reason I told you earlier. This is a heart brand buzz bait. It's pretty big. Uh, this is for some bigger fish here. And I might even put a trailer hook on the back uh, to have that extra protection to make sure that we actually hook the fish. Um... Let's see, I know there's another one. Um, this is a Bass Pro Products, and you're going to see a lot of Bass Pro Products in this video. Probably up to 15 to 18, there's a lot of them, I know that. So, uh, Laser Eye Spinnerbait, it's a uh, dual blade, and uh, it's white, again. I know you guys are probably thinking, why don't you buy some other colors, just try them out. But, you know, just to get me started off for this summer, white is just the color I'm going to go with, just for now. I'll probably end up buying a lot more lures later, and I'll show you some more videos about that. Zoom. This is the Old Faithful. This is my Old Faithful. Baby Bass Stripper. This is probably one of my all-time favorite lures. No matter what, even if it doesn't catch you the monster 8-pounders, 9-pounders, this thing will catch you an insane amount of fish in the lake that I fish. My private lake that we own, amazing amount of fish will come out of that lake with this lure. Baby Bass Colored Trick Worm. Fish it wacky style, about two inches from the fatter part of the worm. Hook it straight down, and it comes through the water, and it just jigs. Fish cannot stand it. They tear it up. Amazing worm there. Let's see. All right. This right here, you probably have seen these before from a company called Storm. Well, Storm was starting to get expensive. People weren't buying them as much. Bass Pro came out with their line, $2 cheaper. An insanely good lure right here too. Bring this through in one of the lakes that I fish. We catch four or five, six pounders on these kind of lures right here. Big, big fish come off these lures. So uh, this is a lighter color. This is more of white and black, uh, and it has that like I don't know how, but they put like it makes it look like scales, and it's just the color in the water makes it look really nice. Uh, this is a blue and green color here. But it's the same size as another Bass Pro products. Um, Let's see, oh, there's another, another Bass Pro product, um, Boss Shed, they're all Boss Shed, uh, but this is a lot smaller, and this is a blue and green color again, a lot smaller, you can, uh, so if there's a smaller bass, can't hit those, you can hit these for sure, <coughs> and maybe some crappies hit those, but, um, alright, Booyah Jig, um, this is pumpkin seed color, and, uh, more pumpkin seed, with uh, trailers that I picked out to go with them. So they're both pumpkin seed. That's a Zoom trailer, by the way. And uh, I know you guys have probably seen Big Bass Master 1. Well, uh, check out his channel. It's an amazing channel. Just type in Big Bass Master 1. Amazing channel. The kid is really cool. I know him in real life, actually. And uh, we're looking to make some videos hopefully this summer. But uh, he got me hooked on this Berkeley Havoc Pit Boss. This is a great lure right here. I've got some nice fish on this. Um, the Gamagatsu hook to go with it. Hooks up real nice with it. 
Alright, so last but not least, the bass uh, stuff that I bought is another Bass Pro product, this little tackle box. I don't know exactly what I'm going to use it for, but uh, I'll put some stuff in it. Probably my jigs and buzz baits. Probably buzz baits will go in there. And uh, it'll go in that tackle box that you're actually sitting on right now with the uh, iPod. I can't find my camera, so I'm going to have to use my iPod. But that wraps up the bass fishing. Uh, let's move into catfishing now. Um, first thing I bought was these uh, copper bells. Uh, you can see these pretty well at night because of the reflection with the copper. Uh, the bells are very loud, as you can tell. Um, you just put these on the tip of your rod. I usually put them one eye down so they don't fling off. I put them one eye down from the top. And um, they stay on there. And when that rod tip starts to move, when it's a deadline, and it goes on the bottom and just... Whoo -whoo, and you can hear that from a mile away. Uh, especially if you're not right there watching it. So... Uh, and if you can't see a rod tip, that signals that you have a bite. So, get that out of the way. Okay, this is my best bobber. This right here for my rig. 100% needed for my rig that I use. These uh, little Joe bobbers, they're 10 inch and they're weighted at the bottom right here. They're weighted. Very, very nice. I love these bobbers. They, I've been using these for two or three years and they work very well. So, uh, actually I bought four of those because I have three rods that I use when I go pay like I actually bring like four to five, six rods sometimes, but uh, you're only allowed to use two rods usually, sometimes one, but those are at the gypped pay lakes. Usually you can use two rods, and you can buy an extra one to two rods, and most of the pay lakes I go to, you can only buy one extra. So you can have three rods total, but you have to pay for the extra rod. So I brought four. So I can have three and then the extra bobber if I need it. This will be good for at least the first couple uh, weeks. And I'll go out and I'll buy it if needed at the pay leaks. So uh, I thought that's always good to have these. Um, next, another Bass Pro product. 100% needed barrel swivels. Uh, these comes in 25 pack. They're only about $199, $2. They work very well. I need these for 100% uh, needed for my rig that I use when I go pay leaking. Those go on my rig. Uh, let's see what is next. Bobber stops. Bass Pro um, rig or Bass Pro product. I'm sorry, uh, but these are used a lot with me. Uh, they're 100% needed for my rig. Bobber stops. Bass Pro product, and it comes a lot in. They're easy to use. You know, some people get sort of flustered. They don't know how to get it off the wire without it breaking, but it works very well once you get the hang of it. Uh, egg sinkers. Bass Pro product again. There's eggs, six egg sinkers in here, and they're one ounce, and that also is 100% needed for the rig that I use. Okay, let's show you. All right, my hooks that I bought just for the first couple weeks, because I do have a lot of break-offs with my fish, uh, especially the channel cats when I have my, uh, sometimes these bass rods to go channel cat fishing. So, I mean, I have like six to ten pound line on there, and I break off a lot, so I buy these humongous packs of hooks, so... Uh, when I actually am at Palix, I mean, I'm using 30 to 40 pound test line on my big cat rods and like 20 pound test on my channel cats just because sometimes you can catch flatheads and blues on your channel cat rods. So you got to be careful. But, um, alright, so this is my channel cat hook. Comes out of this pack right here. This is a size 4 opt. Okay, there's 50 in here. Works very well. Bath for product. Okay, let me show you this. This is for channel cats. These are for flatheads and blues. This is an octopus circle hook bait holder from Cat Max, another Bass Pro product. 25 coming here, and this is a 7 knot hook, okay? Now, let me show you the difference in between these two. This 7 knot circle hook bait holder. When it's a bait holder, this would just be a 7 knot circle octopus circle hook. But this has bait holder, so it's got these two. Whew, two little barbs on the back, okay? That just holds your bait on a little bit better. Okay. This is a bait holder also, and it's only a 4 aught, And it's got the two little barbs. Very, very small. You can't see them probably. But, um, two differences between the hooks right there. So, uh, that shows the hooks. Alright. 30 pound test, Trilon, big game. 440 yards on this bad baby. This will get me through probably the whole season. I change halfway through the season on line on all my rods. So uh, that'll get me through the season probably. If not, I can always buy another one. So that'll get me through most of the season at least. Okay. Now, I know there's some mixed opinions about this. Magic bait. 
Now, I know most of you guys that are cat fishermen are going to be like, why did you even buy that? Because it doesn't work. Well, it only works if you can keep it on the hook. So, you're not just going to hook this on here with this and expect it to stay on. Unless you mold it all the way up. And that's what you're supposed to do. But this hook is not made for this. This is made for this. This is a treble hook. A pretty small treble hook. It's not that big. But it's got a spring on it. Okay, I don't know the exact uh, size. Size number four, I guess. It's a four aught treble hook. So, um, this treble hook has a spring on it. And what you do is uh, when you... I get two or three of these little balls here. And you mold them all together on this treble hook. You put one on one side and another one on one on the bottom. You just mold it together. Well, all that um, dough gets in between this these springs and these on the hook. And it doesn't come off as easy. And it stays on there very well. I catch a lot of nice fish with this right here. A lot of nice little channel cats. You know, good for uh, catching channel cats for dinner. Even just taking your kids out. Catching nice channel cats here. I take my buddies out that I haven't been fishing. You catch some nice little fish with this, and that's how you get them hooked on and going with the big boys, catching the big cats when you go to the pay lakes. All right, a Cat Max Real Bass Pro product. I get a huge discount on this. My buddy works at Bass Pro. gets a 40% discount on any Bass Pro sold product. It has to be made by Bass Pro. Like the Bass Pro, Cat Max is associated with Bass Pro. So I get a huge discount on this. And once I turn 16, 17, however old that's to be, I think it's 16, I'm going to go up Bass Pro get myself a job. I will hopefully get my job up there. That is my dream job for at least my high school years. So, there's my uh, reel. Let me go ahead and show you. I got a Cat Max rod to go with it. Right here, buddy. This is a nice reel. There's the reel right there. You can see it pretty well. It is a uh, CZM3 or something model type. Uh, it's a pretty nice reel. It's a little bit different from the reels I'm used to. It has a button to push. It's like, this is what uh, the bait casters with bass rods have. At the button, you push them, and it releases the line. Now, I'm going to show you the bait clicker. Listen to this. You throw your line out, put it down, and set ass, and put it in a rod holder. Put it straight on the ground, let the line out, put flip the bait clicker, and all you hear when you get a fish is, you, and it might, it doesn't go straight out there unless you got a humongous monster. So, uh, what you're going to hear is this, it's going to go, and then the huge run with it, he's going to go, ding, and it's just going to run. So, um, that's what, probably going to what you hear, but that is what pretty much tells you you have a nice fish. So you heard how loud that bleak clicker was. That wasn't really that loud. So there's that. In the, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't show you the rod. Cat Max rod. It is an 11 footer, by the way. And I'm used to having 10 footers. But 10 footers, I can't get enough leverage to get that uh, <clears throat> placement on the bobber where I want it to bait. Got to hit those pinpoint accurate spots where the uh, barrels are, if you know there's barrels out there. Getting them with the ledges or the holes, the drop offs, all those kind of things. <coughs> so you gotta know that kind of stuff. All right. So while I have you on the topic of my rods, here are the two bait casters I had from last year. Okay. I'm gonna continue using them. This this is my starting lineup. These two and that new guy back there. But these two are uh, they're veterans, man. And these guys got some battle scars on them, cuts and scrapes, and a lot of mud. This is some hardcore cat fishing rods right here. But, um, these are some, uh, Abu Garcia C3 model, uh, reels, and they work very nice. Let me show you here the actual, um, what the bait clicker sounds like. This is a little bit louder, I'm pretty sure, um, but I really like this. See, this is a different model reel because of the, uh, button on the side. This is what most reels come with, the button on the side. I actually like the button on the side more. I just control it better. So, there's that, but here's what the bait clicker sounds like. a lot louder as you can tell now this is what you hear and then he just runs with it again that's a little bit louder in my opinion but uh i like the louder bait clicker sometimes it pisses the guys off around the lake and you know what they're gonna have to get over it but um 
you really don't want to make anybody mad at pigs, you know. I try to make friends with everybody, make everybody, you know, know that I'm out there to piss them off or be a dick or whatever. So, um, I did not buy this at Bass Pro, actually. Uh, last time I tried to buy this at a pay lick because I forgot it, forgot to bring it. Um, they charged me three ninety nine for a roll smaller than this. And I was like, are you kidding me? But I had to buy it. I needed it right then and there. So, I'm never doing that again. I went to the department store. 99 cents for a bigger roll. It's like 140 yards or something. I don't even know. Oh, it's 100, 100 yards. So, people were giving me 60 yards for four ninety or three ninety nine. I was like, are you kidding me? Hell no. So, next time I went to a pay lake, I had my own roll for 99 cents. Didn't have to pay. Three ninety nine for one flip and roll that was forty yards smaller, but um that's pretty much all. I've, oh no, I'm sorry. One more thing. Uh, oh, I didn't shoot my bass rod. I'm sorry. I'm all messed up today. The bass rod that I bought. Uh, it's a Bass Pro product, both the reel and the uh, rod, just like my catfishing rod and reel. So I get forty percent off on both of these. It was an amazing deal. This rod alone was supposed to be eighty dollars, just like that rod. Well, this rod was $80, and the reel was 30 okay? Well, that was in the back of the store. In the front of the store, right when I walked in, this is what I immediately saw. And $79, I mean, no, I'm sorry, not $79, $70 for this whole combo. So, what would have been $111, $110, turned out to be 70 So, great deal there. Love this push button, you know, right then and there, you just got it. Put ten, ten pound line on here. Uh, got nice grips on here. Love that feeling. And uh, Big Bass Master One. I think I saw this in one of his videos. I think he has this rod or a duplicate of this rod uh, with a white rod. And it's got this nice little grip there. I love that. Uh, plan on catching some nice fish on that this year. All right. Well, another thing that I did buy um, for all kinds of my fish was a fifty pounder Apollo scale that was on sale. Eight dollars dropped off it. Uh, it was twenty eight dollars. Now it's twenty. Nineteen ninety nine. Fifty pound. Uh, up to fifty pounds on this thing. It's a digital scale. I love it. Uh, the reason I had to buy that and some of this other stuff is because I'm stupid and I left on my last trip of the year uh, when I went to that farm pond and I went to some other farm ponds. But when you saw that uh, video on my channel where uh, farm pond catfishing, kind of a lot of nice little channel cats there. I only got a few on film, but uh, I left two worm containers in my tackle box all winter. I opened it, and it smelled terrible. I mean, it was disgusting. Everything was rotted everywhere, and everything in there is pretty much ruined. Almost everything. So, including my scale, so I had to buy a new scale. I'm going to have to bleach some stuff, but you never want to get anything other than the smell of the item on that item. Hooks, baits, anything. You don't get any other smell in there because catfish react to that kind of stuff. Like I said, catfish react to only their taste, mostly only their taste, smell, touch, feel, anything like that. You cannot, they don't really look at what they're going to eat. If they smell good and they think it's going to taste good, they eat it. They eat anything like that. So, they're not going to care what it looks like. As long as it smells and tastes good, you've got it. So, and they can sense the bait fish swimming around. That's how you see, they eat those live bait, those flatheads. So, uh, I'm planning to catch monster flatheads this year. You know, when those guys catch 96 pounds, that's the state record for Ohio. When they catch those kind, they're catching them in the rivers. There's obviously not many of those dudes in pay lakes. And I know a lot of you guys, when you see me pay laking, you're going to say, get a life, go fish in a real reservoir or a real lake. And, you know, when I get my license, I'm going to be going to rivers. I'm going to be going to real lakes. So, don't hate on me right now. I know, but, uh, you know, I gotta live with what I can right now, so, um, we're gonna get out there this year, and we're gonna smack them up, we're gonna catch some big bass, we're gonna catch some monster cats, we'll probably catch some nice carp too, and, uh, some crappies maybe, uh, I might even make a panfish video, of me catching some bluegill, good stuff like that, so, uh, no, I'm excited about this year, it's gonna be a great year, guys, get a lot more videos out to you, and, uh, it's gonna be a great year, but, uh, I hope you guys like this video, and uh, please like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you guys got to do. Uh, but uh, 